can't have this bike. Guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. I'm gonna go over this bike, why I love this bike, why you're gonna love this bike. But I'm gonna go over this whole thing, what we did to it, what makes this a killer e-bike, and why this is much better than a click and ship bike that you can buy online or anywhere else. All right, so if you're new to this channel, my name is Johnny Nerdout. I convert bikes into custom electric e-bikes. They're much better, much more higher powered, much more longer range, cheaper. They're just better overall than anything you could buy better efficiency, everything, than you could buy. Head to johnnynerdot.com if you need help putting together one of your own, if you like this. Other than that, let's just get right into it. Okay, this is the Specialized Ruse. This is like the Fuse, but this is a female version of it. I know you're not really, bikes don't really are offered in genders anymore. They're usually low step or high step. This would be considered a low step, even though it's not super low step, but it is easier to get on. This bike is awesome. This is a solid specialized bike. This is a trail bike. This is a Swiss army bike, if there ever was one. 27 and a half by three inch tires. So these things are mid fats. They will go over anything. This could be a light snowmobile bike, or it could be a commuter bike. You just change up your tires a little bit for whatever you want. Right now it's got the all purpose tires on. So this is a Swiss army knife as it is right now. Um, we put in an integrated headlight on this that runs off of the battery. I'll get to the battery in a second. We got the 600C color display up here. We got the dropper seat post right here. So you got the remote, um, we got the throttle. We upgraded the brakes. They were, uh, they actually were hydraulic brakes, but we upgraded them to the hydraulic brakes that work with the Bafang motor systems. These also work with the CYCs because they have the same pinout but you wanna make sure you're double checking. If you're thinking about getting these brake cutoffs and it's not for a Bafang and it's not for a CYC, double check. Even if the physical connectors are the same, the wiring could be different and it could mess with your motor system. So like, don't put this on a 2.7 motor, things like that. Um, but yeah, these brakes are awesome and allow, it has built-in brake cutoffs so you never have to do any adjusting or anything like that. Um, it's got a remote lockout fork, through axle. Man, there's a lot to talk about on this bike. We've got a 52 volt, eight amp hour battery pack and it sits inside the saddlebag. Normally the saddlebag mounts underneath here, but you can see these things are super flexible. You can mount it wherever it makes sense to you. She didn't want it right here, you know, and it, it would probably interfere with this a little bit. So you don't have to do it just because it says it. We mounted it right here and this is super snug. We, uh, we put two holes in here and we mounted it to the water bottle mounts and it's also attached here. So this thing literally is not going anywhere. And it still offers quick access. You unzip it, pull the battery out, hot swap it if you need it. And that's a 400 amp hour, or I'm sorry, 400 watt hour battery. So you're gonna get good range with this in a really small package. And we got the BBS02 750 watt motor. We went with the 36 tooth chain ring. And then it's also got the gear shift sensor. You know, we put that on every single bike that we build pretty much. It's just a nice safety feature. You don't need it, but I strongly recommend it. Same thing goes for the brake cutoffs. You don't need it, but I strongly recommend it. Um, we also added the Topeak uh, Tetra rack. This is the M2L. This is the mountain bike version. So it's got the wider, fits the wider chain stays. Your dropouts, whatever, your, your seat stays right here. If they're a little too wide, it'll, this will go for that. All this stuff is available on johnnynerdout.com, you guys. If you guys are interested and you wanna help a small business, awesome. Love you guys for it. And if you want me to keep making videos like this too, so appreciate it. That's pretty much it. You can see it's super wet on the ground. Normally I do a top speed test. Normally I do a hill climb test. It's just to show off like a bike like this. This thing is gonna hill climb like a beast. And this thing's also gonna be able to do over 30 miles an hour. Literally will climb anything that you can hang on to. If you get a hub motor, it's not gonna be able to do that. Unless you're running 84 volts or more. Thanks a lot guys. If you have more questions like this, go to johnnynerdout.com. If you want help, building your bike, book a consultation. I'd be happy to help you with it. Yeah, take it easy guys, thanks.